Hello, I'm Jake Epstein and I am coming to you live from the intramural fields. Right now they are empty and quiet. And that was the scene last year when Fall Fest was canceled due to the coronavirus. This year that will change because on October 2nd, we will be hosting our annual Fall Fest. Students will be able to attend a free event where they'll be having a concert and a festival where people can enjoy the music from T-Pain. Yeah, we are really, really excited because of the vaccination rate of our student body um, that we're going to be able to have an in-person fall festival this year. Um, additionally, beyond all of our students being fully vaccinated, our invited families and any guests that our students bring also have to prove um, proof of COVID-19 vaccination. And in this way, we can uh, again meet on the intramural field for our great concert carnival and all the other events in person and safely. Another question I have is, and usually the announcement of who's performing at Fall Fest comes a bit earlier in the year. Is there a specific reason as to why it came a bit later than usual? Yeah, a lot of things can affect the timeline for announcing, such as contracts, permits, stuff like that. The university works really hard to let our alumni and students know how soon um, as, as possible we can of the headliner. Um, but we were happy we could at least make it this past Monday, early in the morning, and we're going to be letting all of our populations know best we can. Well, we're looking forward to it and we're excited that it is T-Pain. Uh, I was wondering if you have a particular favorite T-Pain song that you enjoy listening to. I was a fan uh, of his music during the bartender era, so hopefully that one will make the lineup. I liked his appearance in Apple Bottom Jeans. I thought that was pretty noteworthy. Big hit. I'm just excited that we're all going to be in person again. Uh, I'm, I'm happy about the T-Pain announcement. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm glad that there's going to be an opportunity for all of us to hang out in the intramural fields again because it didn't really feel the same last year during COVID, so I'm just glad that we're all going to get a chance to be together again and hang out. Tickets will be available on October 1st and you will be able to pick them up. All you'll need is a proof of vaccination or your Pride Pass. This is going to be a great event to bring back and welcome the new school year with hope. From the intramural fields, I'm Jake Epstein, back to you in the studio.